Hey guys, it's Daryl with Auto Dreams. I'm here today with my son Sydney and his beautiful 2015 C7 Corvette. And we're going to do an instructional video to show you how to install a hood stinger strike. It's definitely a two person job. We're going to walk you through all the steps so you can be sure and get it right the first time you do it. So we'll show you that right after the break. <laughs> I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip this, Wet. tell him run it up, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck, but first die, stretch, tell him run it up, I wake up, flex, thumb down that check, no drip this, Wet. tell him run it up. Okay guys, so welcome back. So once again, we're going to walk you through how to install a hood stinger stripe on a Corvette. Now I've got my son Sydney here with me, as I mentioned. If you want to follow him on social media, I'm going to drop a link to his Instagram in the description of the video. So let Sydney talk to us a little bit about what we're actually applying to the car today. So guys, this is a stinger stripe for your hood for your C7 Corvette. And it's just going to basically, it's a vinyl sticker. So you're just going to put it down basically right here. After, you know, some we put solution and stuff down, but we're going to give it a couple tries and show you guys how to do it. Okay, so this particular stripe is the carbon flash carbon flash and we get it from corvette mods yep we'll drop a link in the description in case you want to order one different colors all colors any colors you want gloss and red and yep. silver it's so all kind of different colors so we're going to go through that as well okay guys so step one with applying any type of decal or wrap or sticker you want to make sure you're dealing with a very clean surface so we're going to go ahead and give the car a wash with the foam cannon and then we're going to come back and go further <laughs> residue off the surface and the way to do that we're going to put some rubbing alcohol any rubbing alcohol we'll go ahead and uh, wipe that where we're going to apply the decal once again it's going to get any residue any waxes we want to pr promote a good adhesion that's the best way to do that okay guys so we got the surface really clean we're about to unpeel the decal but first we want to take some soapy water mix we want to spray down both the hood and then we're going to also spray down the decal that's going to give us ample time to adjust and align before things start to dry up. Alright guys, you can obviously tell we're not wearing the same clothes we had on at the start of the video. We got in a rush the first attempt and we actually tore the first decal that we had. Yes, a hundred dollars going down the drain and that's it right there. Now we're another hundred dollars into it, so we had to order another part. Yeah. It took a week and a half to come in, so that's why it's a different day, different clothes. But it was a learning experience, right? It taught us to do a little bit more research and not get into a rush.
All right, guys, so we just did the time lapse. We sped things up for you. Actually pretty pleased with the outcome. I'd say a good 9 out of 10 for our first time. Amateurs, this is our first time putting down any type of decal or wrap, and so I think we did a really good job. We're going to bring in the camera here extra close so you can see what we're talking about. Again, we're, we're really pleased at the outcome, but we must impart to you some takeaways. First, I would say this is definitely a two-person job. Don't think you can do it with just one person. Yeah. Right? No, two people for sure. You need patience. You, two hands is better than one. Two hands is better than one. So, right, or four yeah, hands in this case. Hands. See, yeah, four hands are better than one. So obviously, two-person job. Also, heat gun. You must invest in a $10, $15 heat gun off Amazon. Amazon it next day. So that's gonna help to remove some of the moisture and deal with some of those bubbles that will form underneath the decal. Yeah. Patience, you cannot be in a rush to do something like this. You wanna get it done and be done with it, but patience is your friend. Well, once again, guys, if you take into account those tips, whether you're putting on a small decal like this, or you're wrapping your roof, or attempting to do a expel, uh, paint protection, whatever. Do your research, perhaps watch some YouTube videos, make sure you got the right tools, and just be patient. Wait, wait, stop. Alright guys, so you can obviously tell that we're not wearing the same clothes we had on at the start of that video, but we're going to tell you why. We have a at the end of it. Alright, we're going to take